Lennox was his first loss. Uh, uh, when I saw Lennox Lewis fight Jackson, uh, Mr. Jackson, uh, I, I really saw some things in Lennox Lewis to where Phil Jackson, he lost, I mean, he, he to stop Phil Jackson. And when I saw that fight, I, I, I kind of really seen some things where I would be able to take advantage of Lennox Lewis off my natural attributes as a fighter itself. Uh, people was underestimating my punching power as well as my speed and my, uh, my ring generalship. They thought that I could just take a good punch and that was it. But as they thought I could take a good punch, I was uh, critiquing my, my other skills, my elusiveness, uh, my hand catching, being able to catch punches and being able to slip punches and things of that nature. So that started to evolve with me. And as my defense started to evolve, along with my big heart with sparring Mike Tyson, you put a big heart along with a good defense, oh wow, you got a hell of a fighter. Man, it felt awesome, it felt awesome. I remember, I do remember clearly Greg Page, uh, he was one of my trainers then. He was, I was holding the pass for me about five or 10 minutes before I walked out the box with Lennox Lewis. And as I was throwing punches and, and practicing that straight right hand, the left foot right hand, and, and practicing my jab, left foot right hand, those were the punches I was definitely practicing and, and, my, and me slipping a lot. As I was practicing that, it came a point where I threw a right hand and when I hit it, I felt it. I said, I ain't throwing another punch. I said, I feel it. I said, I'm not throwing another punch until the next punch I throw, I'm throwing that man Lewis. And I remember Greg Page telling me, come on, stay warmed up. And I looked at him, I said, no, no, I feel it. I said, I, I, I ain't going to overdo it. I said, I'm ready. I said, the next punch I throw, I'm throwing it Lennox Lewis. And sure enough, I did not throw no more punches. They kept looking at me. But now I was so focused and zoned. And the next punch I throw, I want to throw at him. I knew how I felt. I knew I felt good. I felt uh, like, like I was sharp and I was on time. And actually, I'm glad that I done that because as you look at you look at the fight, I did win the first round. And by me preserving that energy and staying focused and me winning that first round, I knew when I sat down that first round, I knew Lennox Lewis was going to try to win that second round. I also knew that Lennox Lewis was going to try to win that second round by trying to hit me with one of them devastating overhand right hands, the right hands he throw. But then that was opening up an opportunity for me to throw my straight right hand off a left hook. And that's when he made Stewart say, you're throwing a clumsy left hook. And I said, yeah, I said, yeah, I said, but come back with the straight right hand. So I already knew that as soon as he settled down, he was going to try to win that second round. And I was going to hold my ground and throw that right hand. And during that second round, he did hit me with a double jab and make me go to the ropes. And I saw the confidence in his face, like I'm going to step to you and knock you out. But so I bounced around and once he got in range, I sat down and I really planted my feet so I could throw a left hook straight right hand and, and, and it just was right on time and, and, it, and, and that was the legend <laughs> and uh, it was awesome, it really was awesome.